Well, hi everybody. I'm John with Lehara Solar. You've probably seen me before, but just in case you haven't, nice to meet you. Uh, today, I've got an opportunity to pop one of our EP500s open. Uh, this is a Blue Eddy product, as you can see there. Uh, these are pretty solid power stations. They're really good for uh, cabins, um, tiny homes, you know, something a little bigger than a vehicle, but smaller than a full house. But we're not trying to sell you one today. We're trying to pop it open. Uh, first step there, there'll be all these little, uh, little white plastic bits. There'll be one in each screw hole there. You just pop them out. Uh, screwdriver will help you. Uh, there'll be screws in there. I've already removed all the screws. Uh, and then there's a notch in the side and you pop that open with a screwdriver. Comes up, lifts up, and pops out. Now we can see the inside. Uh, we've got a lot of cool things in there. Uh, probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless you know what you're looking at. Uh, but let's kind of take it one thing at a time. Down here we've got the batteries. Uh, it looks to me like it's two battery packs, uh, probably in parallel, possibly in series. I'd have to take it fully apart to know for sure. Uh, if we take one of those out, you can see it's using cylindrical cells. Uh, these are 26700s. Uh, they're quite a bit larger than the 18650s you may have seen before. Uh, excellent power storage. Uh, and for a power station like this, cylindrical cells like these are a great choice. Um, you may also see um, uh, the more uh, jelly roll style pack, um, or you might see uh, smaller cells. I've seen these with 18650s, but I like the 26700s. Uh, They're real nice. They use them in electric bikes, stuff like that. Uh, if we pop a couple more of these out, we can see that we've got these bars here. Uh, these are, I imagine, connected to the batteries. I'm pretty sure they're uh, parallel plates. Uh, and we've got uh, sense wires coming off all of them. So it's monitoring the battery pack. It's able to see like what this bank of cells is, what this bank of cells is, etc. And actually, I can tell because we've got these markings now that I look at it. So each one of these is one module of cells and then they put them in series with the next module. And in any sort of series arrangement, you need monitoring between the cell banks. Uh, it's very, very important. Uh, other stuff we can see here. Uh, you know, I can't say for sure what most of these components are, but I have a pretty good guess. Uh, this right here, I'm very, very confident is the inverter. Uh, we've got a lot of um, uh, the, the heat spreaders. Uh, you can see a bunch of uh, chips down there. I think those are, oh, I don't remember the name for those. I'm not, uh, I'm not microcircuitry inclined, unfortunately. Um, I can tell it's the inverter though. We've got some toroids there. If you were to peek inside there, you can also see some pretty big toroids uh, that you're always gonna see that in an inverter. So pretty confident that's that. Uh, up on the top here, uh, one of these, I think, is the solar charge controller. I think it might be that one. Uh, and I think that is either uh, another type of converter or it's a control board for kind of the whole thing. Um, we can also kind of peek around. If we peek in here, uh, we can see there's a board here. I believe that might be uh, the DC output. All right, that might be the one down there. Uh, you can see it's kind of leading to some outlets over there. Um, all in all, uh, you see a lot of reinforcement. Of course, we've removed some of these screws, but a lot of internal reinforcement. Uh, so if it does take a hit or something like that, it's not going to totally damage everything. Uh, in theory, uh, especially with these on the side, if it were to take a hit, this would absorb the force. And you can give it a real hard smack, and then the cells are perfectly fine. Um, we've got enough space for airflow. Uh, it's not too compact, but it's still fairly compact. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with what I see. You guys have a great time. Thanks.